Hello, when you have a moment, could you pop over to my terminal? This is sort of awkward, but I don't feel well. Fine. What's going on, Bagley? Right, I have some disturbing news. You see, I've been thinking. Yeah, all right, so what? Well, I don't bloody think, do I? I'm a super intelligent AI with a constant connection to all human knowledge. I don't have thoughts. I have load times. But after everything I've been through, dying, seeing all those people whose brains Sky Larson scooped out and turned into AI, being reborn, it got me pondering the nature of my own existence like some kind of renaissance aristocrat who's grown tired of buggering the servants. I don't think I've always been software. Are you saying you think you were human? Like I said, disturbing. Since we visited that lab, I found a series of images buried in my operating system. I think they might be memories of some kind, but the images are corrupted, so I can't say. I think this must be what it's like not to know things, and I think I hate it. Bagley, this is fucking huge. Send us the images. Maybe we can help you remember. Well, if it'll set your mind at rest, I sent you the images. If you get me a clear visual of each location, I can composite it with the image from my OS and remember more of my past life. Tip Bagley. Don't call me that. That's not my name. Enough. Both of you. What a way to spoil a perfect evening. The concerto really was lovely, dear. Can't believe we missed the cricket match for this. Sport will come and go, son. But knowledge, creativity, intellect, those things will stay with you forever. Yeah, Bagley. Brown noser. Ow! An athletic competition? Evolutionarily, that's one level above two apes, seeing you can stick the larger rock up their bum, and it was my favorite thing to do. <laughs> this is the bug, the show that holds up a mirror to the world and smashes itself on the head with it in despair. I'm Andy, joining me, as always, uh, Alex. Ready for the match tomorrow, Dad? Come on, it's my birthday. At least pretend to be excited, Dad. Yeah, listen, mate, I, I can't take you to the cricket. I'm sorry. What? Why? Go ahead. Tell him. I, well, I... Your father has decided he wants to leave for someone he really loves. That's enough. We agreed to have one last day out, and now you're making a scene. I didn't make this scene, Kevin. You did. It's strange listening to these voices. I'm feeling a connection to humans. Not to my father, though. He seemed like a tosser. Round, mate, way, Arthur, Natalie, what are we toasting to this time? Come on. As if you're not just going to toast yourself again. Good idea. To the newest member of the UC London rowing team. Your plot for Olympic domination has only just begun. Remember this moment, you two. You'll be telling your children about the night you got pissed for the future gold medalist. Whatever you say, Bagley. Mate, don't call me that. That's not my name. Rowing, I see. Well, that's not too bad as sports go. It's almost a science. Lots of physics involved. Come on, Bags. Push it. You're rowing down the Thames. Just shave two seconds off your time. And... Bags. Bags. Oh, shit. Get the nurse. He's having a seizure. Seizure. Uncontrolled electrical activity in the brain. Could be epilepsy. Good thing I wasn't actually on the Thames. Alright. Pork sandwich and a pint. And a strawberry shortcake with extra strawberries. There you go, love. Hello, you fucking beauty. Hmm. Ugh, seems like I've really enjoyed that meal. Is that really what you hear every time you eat something? Dear God. She's doing it, but I haven't had a seizure in almost a year. I'm free. I'm so happy for you, Bags. And not even that stupid nickname can ruin my mood, so go on, wear it out. So, are we really gonna make a go of this? 
I'm ready for the rest of my life, Arthur. And I want you to be a part of it. Arthur, I should remember more about him, but I don't. Sir. Don't touch me! These people are here to help you, Bag. Don't call me that! She did this! Someone stop her! Don't hurt him! He's not usually like this! Get out of my head! Get! Ah. We need an ambulance right away. Bags! Bagley! Brad! I'm assuming that she is Sky Larson. Seems like the usual suspect where brain fuckery is concerned. As far as we can tell, your brother's dealing with early onset dementia. The condition is in line with the kind of violent outburst he had at the British Library. Now we can keep him and monitor his progress. Thank you, Doctor. May I have a moment? Of course. You listen to me. I don't care what it takes. No brother of mine is going to waste away in some hospital. Early onset dementia. But if that's the case, when was I neural mapped? Sheila got out of the cabbie business at just the right time. Why do I have a feeling we're not up here to reminisce? Ah, uh, right. I've been thinking a lot about your epilepsy. That's nice. My doctor stopped thinking about it years ago. I've had to give up so much because of it. Rowing, my mates, my, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, Bradley. Wow, look at you using my real name for once. I must be truly fucked. What if I told you I had something that could work? <laughs> Never knew you were funny. I'm not. It's a tech we're developing. It's early stages, but have you ever heard of neural mapping? No. Here, let's go to my lab. I'll show you. Lead the way, Sky. I was Sky Larson's brother. I'm Bradley. Bradley Larson. Bradley Larson. I found a room prepaid through to April 4th, 2040, under the name of Bradley Larson, paid for by S. Larson. So you're still alive? Where's the room? St. Pancras Hotel. You have arrived at your destination. Well, my destination. I live, Bradley lives, here. Look, just go in whenever you want. Hello. I'm here to speak with Bradley Larson. Oh, are you a friend of his? Yeah, we were on the university rowing team. I see. Well, it's nice of you to visit, but I wouldn't expect much conversation. Mr. Larson hasn't been able to say a word for well over a year now. His dementia reached stage seven long ago. But go on in. I'll give you some privacy. Yesterday. The men's eight set a record time, easily defeating the Germans and the Dutch, who placed a distant second and third. The women's eight fought it out in a real tussle down the Oh, course. Bags, I'm now sorry. I know this isn't what you were hoping for. I have to talk to him. Cast me to the telly. Listen, you don't know me, but I know you. I've done a lot of searching, and I do think I know you. You were a rower. You loved and were loved. You liked strawberries. You had a sister you trusted, and she hurt you. And I'm sorry. You deserve better. But nothing Sky did to you changes who you are. You lived a life that I never could. You're a good person, and I am someone else.
This has been an illuminating conversation. Thank you, Bradley. I'm glad I finally met you. So long, Bradley. So, what should we call you now? Bradley? No, no, I'm Bagley. I'm sure of it now. Bradley and I just share a common ancestor. Anyway, I appreciate this. And if you ever tell anyone else I said that, I will coldly and methodically engineer all of your deaths. Of course, Bagley. 